today's video. Today I'm doing a review on this lovely lady and I'm gonna let you know what I think about it, how I feel. I've had a chance to wear it. I've cut the bangs a little bit and uh, let's get to it. First, I wanna say excuse the look of this left eye if you're wondering what's going on. I had surgery four days ago to help with this eyelid. I've got some kind of issue with the lower eyelid that made it droop and it interfered with about 30% of my vision. So it was nice that the insurance covered that because it was something that was somewhat necessary. Not somewhat necessary, because it was something that was necessary for me to go ahead and get done. So I just had that done. I've got a little bit of swelling left to it. Uh, just three weeks until it reaches its prime. So that's what's going on with the eye. Let's get to this little beauty and I will tell you how I feel about her. I'll take her off and I'm gonna put something else on. I'll be right back. I wasn't even recording this entire time. Oh my God. Let's see if I got any video. All right guys, I am back and this is the Icon by Ellen Willa. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. So it's W-I-L-L-I, -L -L -I, so I say Willa or Willy but I've heard it pronounced a couple different ways in some other videos, but yes, Icon and Ellen Willa. I'm not 100% sure what this color is, I don't remember. I got this from Wig Studio One. They did a live event that one of the women, she does some wig reviews, and it might have been a piece that she did a review on, and it's just not for her, so she decided to uh, give a nice discount on it and offer it to somebody, somebody else that could get some use out of it. So I got a nice discount and that was really nice because money wise with the holidays, really needed it. So yeah, this is Ellen Willow and I do like the way her cat feels, but we're not doing it. We're not, we are not doing a review on her. We are doing a review on the Carly right now. So let's get to the Carly. Let's start out with the color. This is the, in the color of lighter red. And as you can see, she's got some nice auburn and copper tones to her, which are very close to my color that I have when I get it done. Right now I have a lot of rootage in my hair and I get it done, but the ends blend in really, really well with this. So it's nice, I can pull out the sides of my hair, tuck it behind my hair, and it still looks completely natural. I did have to trim the bangs on her because I have such a little forehead, you can see my hairline is, is very, very low. And I did have to trim the bangs because when they were, you could sweep them, but for me, it just, that didn't work very well. So let's get to her cap. She is open lifted. She has open cap, which I like and I don't like. I like that I can stick my fingers through here and when I have an itch and I can scratch it's something you cannot do on the hand tied caps. She is bra strap tighten which I do not care for very much, and I'm going to show you why. Okay, so I tightened her, all right? Now watch, it won't take much to loosen this. I go to put it on and bam, she is way too loose. I have to have this baby tight. So one thing that I'm going to do, and I'll do a video on it, and you can see if I do this right or if I mess it up, I'm going to buy some Velcro and I'm gonna tie, stitch a little Velcro right here and on the strap and I'm gonna go ahead and just make these Velcro so that they stay where they're supposed to stay. You can see on the cap where I did some rootage, I'll show you that real quick. I did uh, some rootage here. I went ahead and did some rooted hair because if you'd, if you'd watched my last video, you would know that I'm not a big fan of wigs that don't have rooting. The reason being is these really nice light highlights go straight into the cap. And personally, I feel like that's a little bit unnatural. So I attempted to make it a little more natural than it was. Now I didn't do a great job at it, but I feel like it's definitely less noticeable than it was. It's not something that's going to like pop out at people, unless they were like really looking hard. You know, I'm like, oh, look what I see. You know, yeah, that's Carly. 
She's very nice. I will put her back on. Oh, well, the other thing I really don't like is there's a lot of flyaways. This one's got it too, but I feel like this is just, just something you're going to have to deal with when it comes to synthetic wigs. I, well, I did buy the... I've got the leave-in conditioner. I bought the travel size uh, kit on this. It has the leave-in conditioner, some of that uh, PC paste, and it had a shampoo and a conditioner with it. It was a travel set so that I could give it a try and see how I like it. And that helps a little bit. So, yeah. Cardi by Emily in lighter red. I'll go ahead and put her back on and I will do a full uh, spin for you so you can see the sides, the front, the back, all of it. And I'll show you the movement. This one's got some pretty good movement. So it's got some really nice fibers. I wanted to tell you the difference between the fibers on this too. This is Ellen Willa. This is the other one is Envy. This one, the fibers feel like they're a little thinner, a little softer. I have a bad habit of doing this, and that's probably something I need to stop doing with my wigs because it's it's gonna wear down the fibers. But I can't help it. It just feels so good. <laughs> I had this on the other day when I first got it. I just wore it for a couple hours and it's all I did was twist, twist, twist. I gotta stop. It's an it's an anxiety thing or a stress thing. I don't know, but I gotta stop doing that. But yeah, this is a very nice wig. I'm very happy with it. Alright. Let's see. Make sure I have her straight. Nope, I have an ear tab that's like All right, so when I first got her, I'll put her down, the bangs were like pretty much like this. And you could swoop them over because they were a little longer, but I just didn't feel like, I didn't feel like that looked very natural. So I trimmed them, and because I have a little forehead, what I have to do is I have to pull this back a little further than what you would typically do it, so that the bangs looked a little more natural on me. So let's comb her out real quick. I have a meeting this afternoon and I'm trying to decide if I want to wear this or if I want to wear the icon to this meeting. But since I have her on, this is probably going to be the one to go. Wear it like that. Took her back. I feel like she makes me look younger. I feel like I just look a lot younger. <laughs> so I kind of like her because of that. I, I love this color. I feel like if I had a human hair piece in this color, I would definitely wear her every day. I like the blonde too, but I like being red. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I did an okay job on explaining some things. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments. I'll do what I can to answer it. Also, let me know, like I say in every single video, let me know what it is you'd like to see and I'll do my best to put it out there for you. Thank you for watching. Happy holidays and many blessings, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. I'm at the library doing this, right? And I'm very subconscious right now. I can, it just seems like everybody knows I'm wearing it. So, yeah, I wanted to put this because I'm not even going out. You're not alone when you go out in your wigs for the first few times.
because it's kind of shiny. It's actually not. Hello everyone, I'm back home and wanted to give y'all an update. I know in the last clip I was very nervous and feeling very anxious about being out in the public and, and wearing this and what everybody else was thinking, if they knew it was a wig or not. Oh, that person's looking at me a little funny, they must know. Just feeling very anxious, but I wanted to tell you the rest of the evening went pretty well. The, the group that I was meeting with, they know what I look like. So they knew that this was a wig, but I did have a gentleman comment and say, good color, good luck. So it, that part of it went well, but I was just more worried about what people were thinking that I didn't know if they were, were noticing that it was a wig or not. But one thing I am learning is that to have more confidence within myself out in public, in spite of having a wig on or not, building that confidence is going to take Time. What I basically did was fake my confidence while I was out. So even though I was feeling like super insecure and not very confident, I tried my best and did everything I could to appear confident and fake that confidence. And throughout the night, that confidence just gradually came and I didn't care anymore. I didn't even think about what other people were thinking and not as self-conscious about it. So. You go out there, you just do it, you face that fear, and when you're done, you're going to come back and you're going to feel really good about yourself. But I just wanted to show this part of it because I wanted y'all to know that you're not alone in your feelings when you first start wearing a wig and you have to go out in public with it. If it makes you feel good when you're in your home and you look in the mirror and you have a piece on and you feel really good about yourself and beautiful, go out in public and show that beauty and that confidence that you feel when you look in the mirror when you have it on. No one's going to know. We're going to think they know, but they're not going to know. I'm there with you. I just wanted to show that I'm there with you. I I share that anxiety, I share those feelings with you, and I am struggling right along with you. The big reviews are basically me showing you my journey in wearing wigs and learning about them and, and sharing what I'm learning along with you. I'm very, very, very new at the wig thing. I've only just started wearing them maybe two weeks now, and I did learn a lot about them over the past six months prior to, to getting them, but I know I still have a lot to learn, especially when it comes to doing review videos. There's a few things that I had forgotten to do earlier that won't be in this video. However, they will be in the next one, and I will learn things as I go, and each video that I do is only going to get better and better and better. And with your help and putting things in the comments, I can even make it better. So, but I want to thank you guys for watching and being a part of my journey in finding the perfect wig. <laughs> All right, you guys have an amazing holiday. Happy New Year. I'll see you in the next video. Good night.